Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood can of tofu here, and this quarantine has me dead. So I've been looking through my closets and trying to find things that I never wear ever in my life so I can like do something to them to make them a little cooler. I've done it before, I diddled, diddled up this little vest that I hate with some patches on the back of it. I, I like having fun with stuff like that, so I've been trying to figure out things that I don't wear. So this uh leather jacket i don't know if it's a real leather but she's all beat up she's really not she's not feeling it anymore so what i think i want to do is take this shirt i never wear this ever because i just i don't like v-neck cuts i'm not a huge fan of it but i love the colors that's why i've been keeping because i thought i could use this fabric for something so i think i think i might take the um the fabric from this shirt and put it on the back of this jacket like along here maybe and then i want to take the sleeves off of this shirt because i like the color and stuff but it's it's really tight on me and i usually take the sleeves off of stuff i don't wear so i think i might take the sleeves off of this and then maybe i might i don't know sew them on the on the sides right here or maybe on the back i'm not sure exactly what i'll do and then I have some spikes uh, that I got off Amazon a while ago, so I think I might throw them on there. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I'm kind of just going to go with the flow and see how I like it. If I don't, I, you know, I don't really wear these anyway, so it's not like it's a loss. So I'm just going to try and see what happens. So I have everything pinned down the way I think I want it to go. I put the cuffs of that long sleeve plaid shirt uh, on the front here, and I think on the back I want to... I added more of the pattern here, you can see the back of it. Uh, this is looking very rough. I plan to, you know, when everything gets sewed on, I want to make it look a little more uh, nice and well put together, but this is what I have so far. I think I am done working on this right now. I'm gonna uh, do all the sewing in the morning or, um, you know, sleep on it, see if I like the design, because I'm not really sure how I'm feeling this. I, I will, I do plan on, like, touching it up with, um, spikes when I'm done with it so that the edges won't look so rough. But I'm gonna do the sewing tomorrow and see if that'll make it look a little better. Might switch some things around here and there, but for tonight, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so it's morning now. I finished sewing on this part, like, the red part, to the back and the front of the jacket. I think, I mean, I guess I like how it came out. It's not like super clean, it's not perfect, but that's not really what I was going for. I kind of wear raggedy clothing anyway. Uh, the next part I'm gonna do is I um, pinned on this part, the sleeves of the other shirt that I had. Uh, I'm gonna sew these on. I'm not sure if I wanna use the same yarn or if I wanna use red or white, uh, but I think I might use the same color yarn. Uh, so that's the next step, I guess, I don't know. So I kind of sew, lazily sewed up these patches to the top. I did a little bit of the colored yarn and then I did some like actual black thread so that you won't see the bottom part here because I kind of liked the way that cuffed off at the end. Uh, and I also finished the back as you saw. So I think the last thing I want to do is add like spikes around the edges. I'm not really sure exactly how I'll arrange it but I'll do something, I don't know. Not sure if anyone's interested, but in my last video, um, my sketchbook tour, I mentioned that I wanted to go back to my sketchbook and finish some of the pages that I thought were kind of blank, so I did that with this page, and this one right here, just like doodling random things, I also do this, because I started getting getting into Persona 5, it's a really cool game, anyway, that's that's the end of the video, I got, I got nothing else for you, bye.